Not what we want up here. One guy playing, trying to be funny and a comedian or whatever he thinks he is or whatever it was, joking or laughing, it is what it is. Okay? But again, all we can do is address the noise, how loud it is. Those are the only things we, what the verbiage and what the wordage is, we cannot address. Would it be possible to ask the planning commission to at least discuss whether or not um, when things are broadcast over loudspeakers outdoors, whether we could have some control over um, those issues? It's, it's in. It's in here. It's in the noise ordinance. It discusses. Right here. So you tell me where it's at. Um, Number eight. Musical instruments, electronically amplified sound. And it shall be unlawful to play any musical instrument or to allow any electrical or electrically produced, reproduced, or amplified sound to emanate from any place, vehicle, or premises between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. As so to be heard more than 100 feet away from your property line, such premises are so that it disturbs the quiet, comfort, and response of persons in any office, dwelling, okay. or other residence. That's addressing the time frame. Yeah. What I'm saying is that once it's, once it's electronically or um, amplified, that it, it has to meet a different criteria. That is, if you're what shouting kind of or whistling, it has that. Once again, that's geared to this 11 to 7 or 10 to 7. Uh, but if we try to regulate what people put over the loudspeaker, that's stepping on freedom Again, of you speech. Again, you got one well, we can't person step on freedom of speech. that we're yeah. talking about that said it won't happen again and he's going to take care of it. No. I don't understand no. why we can't give the man a chance before we bring the government in. Morgan, I wasn't yeah. not suggesting that we rewrite the ordinance. I said, We're all would we have them have a discussion about it? But they've had the discussion. That's my point. They've had it. I will and if it. it can be worked out between them and we don't have to hear about it anymore, how much better can that be? It can't be no better than that. We'll take a couple more comments. Um, everybody is concentrating on the driftwood. I live at 6320 Caribbean right next to the sand hill. I hear the same stuff every weekend over the boats just and they pound rap music and they're talking about blah 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 and stuff that I don't want to hear. We sit on our deck and we have we sit on our front deck, we go to our back deck because we can't sit on the lake side because sometimes people are really annoying. It's part of living on the lake. People go up the cold water creek. They do the same thing. They turn up their stereos, it's outrageous. It's part of it. And you learn to deal with it. We go down and we, you know, we go down and it's like, hey, you know, I've got my grandkids here, could you? You know, and some of them say sorry, and some of them, you know, you get to see that you're number one. But it's part of it's part of it. It's just part of living on the river. We, I mean, we have a party. There's a party up to our house not only on the weekends, during the week, everything else. There's people partying down there all the time. We deal with the church camp, bringing all the kids over there on the sand hill. We're not only watching, you know, hearing all the music. We're watching people destroy the property next to us. Because they let everybody climb up and down that sand hill, which is, you know, totally ridiculous. But, you know, it's part of living on the river. I think censorship on what people are saying is, a, is <coughs> an avenue you're not going to be able to go down because who's going to play God and say what is right and what isn't right? I work for a public school system who has a, a computer lab, and the children in the computer lab print off pornography. We said, ah, pornography, we are going to stop that. Lawyers came in and said, absolutely cannot stop it. Cannot. What's in your library, can, you got computers, you can't. Even though you're paying taxpayers, you're talking censorship. So it's going to be a hard one to do. What comes out is a hard one. Because what might offend me might not offend you. Okay, thank you, folks. I appreciate comments on this, Tom, the only other thing I can tell you, and I know Andy will back me up on this, is what you think you have for problems with your neighbor, multiply by 20, and that's what everybody on the river between here and the Lego faces.
every single weekend. Yeah. Their people ain't talking about the sex act. They're doing exactly. it in their front yard. Yeah. And it is horrible down the river farther. And it ain't broke. Like to do it. It's, that's a mess. And we've had meetings and meetings and meetings and it ain't gotten nowhere again. So I don't know what will happen here. And again, I don't mean to stop with that. But, you know, Tom, like I say, this board is willing to sit and listen. This board is willing to do what it can in situations where it can. So. Well, I appreciate your receiving the letter. I appreciate your yeah, and like I say, anything you need, anything we can offer you, like anytime you come in, we'll give you what you need, what it is. There's things we can't fix. And I, no matter how hard we try, we ain't gonna fix it. Not this board sitting here, so. Okay, we're gonna move on. The next up is a letter of support, and that's for uh, written by Abby Watkins, and it's for amending the FERC license. The FERC license is what regulates what consumers can and cannot do with the dams. The Hardy Dam right now is on a 12 foot allowed drawdown from January 1, I believe, to April 3rd. So they can draw the pond down effectively 12 feet in that time frame. And then by April 30th, it has to be pulled back to capacity. The emergency service is asking that consumers petition FERC to allow that drawdown to go to May 30 instead of April 30. Because they did this entire study about how the rains are coming later in the year now and we're getting all this April flooding going on. And if Hardy was a little bit lower, a little bit longer, it may be able to help control some of that. Keep in mind the whole time, Rogers Dam, Hardy Dam, Croton Dam were never designed to be flood control. Not in any way, shape, or form. The hydroelectric producing dams, they're not meant to flood control for the river. But if there's an outside possibility, it could help. They want to look into this. So what they're looking for is letters of support from the different board. We said if you want to do that, we would also like you to take a long look at, maybe asking them, for a periodical drawdown of Croton Pond. Because right now the license for Croton Dam is whatever comes in has to go out. And the only fluctuation they can have is 12 inches in any 24 hour period of time. So unless there is an absolute emergency of the dam, they're not allowed to draw our pond down and do anything. Now, all of you know that are out on the pond, we've got a serious weed problem starting We've got sand filling in at every end of the pond, up river, down river, over at the Little Muskegon, we got all kinds of problems. If it was possible for them to draw the pond down to allow for some of the dredging, it cuts the cost of that by a third. It'll be amazing what it can do. You can also do a periodic drawdown and then let the ground freeze and it will kill some of the weeds that are out there and will not let them come back. So there are advantages to us so we said, look, if you want our support or you want us to look at something for Hardy, we want you to add Croton to it too. So there's a meeting, and the meeting is on Thursday of this week at 6 o'clock in the county commissioner's room. And they're going to do the whole presentation again about the rains coming later and everything and why they're asking for this. So I'm asking our board to be up at that meeting to make a decision on whether or not they want to support this with a letter of recommendation and a letter of endorsing this letter of support up at that meeting. So I put this all out so everybody has this information. If anybody in this room wants it, or interested in attending, we'll be glad to get it to you. But that's coming up. And again, the whole FERC amending of the licenses, environmental studies will have to be at. I mean, it's going to be an ongoing thing. I don't think it's something we're going to see in the next few years, even if it was something to go through, but it's a process that needs to start because we do have some pretty serious issues on our pond that need to be addressed in different areas. So that's what that is. Updates on the transfer station. I don't know how many of you have been up there to see what we were doing up there for John, but we ended up pouring, we actually had a couple of people up there at the uh, Recycle Center fall off the little things we got up there, different people have gotten hurt. So we had to do something to fix it. Now we had one member of our planning commission who was very generous and 
donated some money back to us to put concrete up in there. So we were going to 